Tyrese, what uh, what was what happened in halftime? What y'all talk about and what uh, how do you explain the way y'all just dominated that second half? Um, the talk of halftime will just keep it going. We right here. Um, in my head, I'm thinking this is uh, kind of sort of a turning the game because of the intensity behind it. How uh, buckets is getting scored back to back. Um, just keep our composure, stay calm, and um, take what they give us and uh, capitalize off it. When did you feel like that you knew you had this one won? Uh, I guess honestly say probably when we hit a minute, to be honest. When we hit a minute, I knew that we won. Um, it didn't look like they was going to foul and try to slow down the clock or anything. So I feel like that's when I noticed that we, we won. Um, but I still was telling my team, keep that composure, you know. We ain't done. <laughs> I saw there at the end of the game that uh, when some guys were getting subbed out there in that last minute, some big hugs with, with coach and with players. What, what did this one mean to y'all? Is it seem like this, that quad one win has been elusive as, as the season's gone? Um, uh, of, of course, because we, like I said, we've been in a lot of close games. Um, before this one, a lot of one possession, two possession games that we have, uh, that we lost. And uh, pulling this one off was very big for us. And uh, like the, the hugs was just, <laughs> we, we got one, we need another one. We got to keep going, you know? Like we did, we, we did this one, okay. But we on to the next one. Well, did it feel not? like a little bit of a weight off your shoulders? Yeah, um, I, I feel like it's weight off our shoulder. Um, right now we're just living in the moment, you know, don't move too fast, move too slow or anything. So um, we just, we just proud of this right here. Hey Tyrese, about the, I guess there was about a little over six minutes ago and they cut it to eight points, the lead, it was 69-61. Um, you get a steal and a dunk and then come back with two three pointers. The next thing I know about two minutes later, you got a 16 point lead. Um, Y'all have had a tendency at times this year to, to, to let some leads get away. Did you take it on yourself to, uh, you know, to uh, step up at that time or did it just, did the game just go that way? Um, like I said, we, we just took what, uh, what was given to us. Uh, we wasn't trying to do too much. I wasn't trying to do uh, too much, play out my character or anything. Um, I played the gaps right, got a steal, finished it. Uh, that, I feel like that gave our team a, a boost. And not, not only me, uh, Haas, he hit a clutch three. Uh, Hayden hit a big three. I hit two, a big three or two. Uh, all that counts, you know. But when they cut it down to that, um, I was just trying to tell our team, just come on. <laughs> we, we ain't losing this one. We got we to gotta keep it going. You know, we got to take care of the ball um, and rebound the ball for the most part. And that's yeah. what besides them. Yeah, one last thing for me. You mentioned the rebounding. They, I think they were averaging 13, 15, maybe 13 to 15 offensive rebounds. I think they got about six and only two second chance points. How did y'all go out there? And uh, again, that at times this year, that's been an issue for y'all. Yeah. Why was it so much different in this game? Um, I feel like we knew what was at stake. Um, Coach Buzz and the whole staff just kept reminding us coming into the game. These last few games, um, we've been emphasizing uh, rebounding and just taking advantage of the, of the boards because, I mean, I feel like, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we, we probably almost did last in the kind of defensive rebounding. Um, but we got to show that we can rebound, you know? So I feel like we just needed to do that. To, uh, we just need to execute that at the end of the day to uh, pull out this win. Because we know we, they, they were sending like three or four guys to go rebound. So we, we just had to uh, be more aggressive. We had to be the aggressive this game. That's what Coach Buzz emphasized too. Be the aggressive. I know in the first half, they're, they're, they, they shot from uh, three-point range pr pretty well. I think it was something the 30%. Come back out and they shoot 12%, I think it was, in the second half. How much of closing out there and, 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 and three-point defense was a, was a kind of a point of emphasis at halftime? And do you feel like that? was one of the things that helped kind of turn the tide there in the second half too. Well, you know, at halftime, um, the coaches see everything, obviously, because uh, we're the ones playing and they're watching the whole game. So at halftime, that was part of the halftime talk to, uh, stepping to the cover two. Um, better closeouts, get there sooner. 
that was just that was another emphasis tonight. Um, especially after halftime, they were shooting the ball pretty well. Uh, we just took that, and uh, nobody took it to the heart. We we already knew, you know, um, every game not going to be perfect, but it's about what you catch on to and which and how you handle it. So I feel like we handled that pretty well in the second half. And what did it mean for you personally to have the kind of offensive output that you did in a game like this, the one that that's meant so much to all? Um, I honestly throw I honestly throw that on my team and my uh, my coaching staff. Uh, my team, my uh, teammates, are honestly giving me the ball to because they was kept telling me shoot the ball, go do this, you can you can do this. Like, come on. Um, as well as Q, Haas, and Hayden, um, that just just shows the faith in everything we have in each other. You know, to just go play. You know, we we got each other back. What do you think this does, Boots, for the? Uh... NCAA tournament postseason hopes. So obviously, it keeps them alive uh, in the game. I know you don't think about that, but now that you got the big win like that over a top 25 opponent, um, what does this do for you guys' hopes of, of making the big dance? Um, like I said, we um, we have to finish the season off first, and uh, hopefully this this win right here can uh, get us there. But we, we we still got SEC tournament. We still got uh, Mississippi State at home on Saturday. So um, we got to focus on what's next, and then we have the, the tournament when we come. Tyrese, do you feel like this is the best game this team has played this year? Uh, I can I can say yes, start to finish. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, just how we went went about it, you know, uh, how we knew what we had to do and how we executed it. Um, not taking anything from Alabama, That's, they they they're a great team. Um, obviously a tournament team, but. Um, I feel like we just executed everything from start to finish. Uh, halftime, coaches informing us on what we need to do, uh, what we need to do better, you know, what, what what are we doing good, and we just went out and, and, and put that into the game and got the outcome that we did. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Tyrese. All right, here's Q, guys. All right, this is Luke for Texas Home and how y'all doing? Hey, thank you. Uh, I saw at the end of the game there with a minute left, some guys getting subbed out, some real big hugs between coach players. What, what did this win mean to y'all, especially with how close y'all were to some of those quad one wins and you, you seem like you, you finally got it today? Um, it means a lot just because of everything we've been through in the past couple of weeks. Um, the way we've been able to persevere and kind of make light of a bad situation um, just shows how much this team uh, loves to fight. And um, it's real um, emotional when you put in so much work and so much effort in, and you can't get rewarded for it. So um, to finally be rewarded for our, our efforts is, is, I ain't gonna lie, it's hard to, it's hard to speak about. Like it's just, a, it's a feeling you get inside. Like it's not even words I can kind of describe the feeling of it. Does it is it a little bit of a, a weight off the shoulders? It seems like something that y'all been carrying through that, that, especially through that losing streak. Um, I wouldn't say it's a weight off our shoulders, um, because it's still work to be done at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, it is. It is it is good to kind of uh get back on the good foot uh, of what we got going on. And then, what did it mean to you to be such a vital part offensively of uh, a, a game that that held? so much emotion for y'all afterwards um it means a lot but at the end of the day it wasn't it wasn't just me it was my teammates stepping up. um i just try to do my best to help my team win whether that be me uh fine give, give me two seconds whether that be me scoring the ball whether that be whatever it may be you know what i'm saying uh, we have a basketball game and the press conference has already started i just try to do my best to stay aggressive on my teammates uh they encouraged me to stay aggressive and that's what i did and, um they worked out for us in the end.
Quentin. Um, just talk about the job that y'all did on the uh, defensive boards. I know that was a point of emphasis and what it meant to hold Alabama to just two second chance points. Uh, I'm just now uh, hearing that from you. Um, that's amazing. Uh, we've had a problem this season with allowing teams to get a lot of second chance points. So we really overemphasize not letting them get second chance points as they, as you know, they're, um, I think they're one of the better offensive rebounding teams in this league. Um, so we just try to make it, uh, we try to make it a, a effort to, to keep them to one shot. We know they shoot a lot of fast shots, quick shots. So we tried to slow the ball down in transition. Um, that way we can kind of get a predictable rebound um, from the shots that they shoot. Um, and at the end of the day, everybody looked, everybody looked away, everybody took up space, everybody boxed out. It was a hard fought effort from everybody literally who checked in the game. And it just, it just worked out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too excited. Yeah, could you have envisioned uh, coming out of uh, the locker room that y'all were gonna be that dominant in the second half and just completely control the game in the second half? Of course, um, I don't go into no game thinking I'm going to lose. Um, just a competitor in me. I don't care if he was going against LeBron or whoever else he was uh, recruiting. My my mindset is not to back down from no man at no point in time, at no uh, at no spot in my life. So I just try to implement that and, and give that to my teammates. So when we come out here, we can come out here all with the same energy that this is a fight and we got to win this fight. So, um I, I, I went in the game thinking we was going to win by 40, if I'm being honest. All right. Quentin, do you feel like this is the best game that this team has played this year? Uh, it's one of the best games that we've played um, from start to finish. I think the um, the level of opponent that, that Alabama is is what makes it a better game from start to finish. We were able to control the, the pace of the game and, and things like that. So I think I think this was a good game for us uh, to win. Hugh, knowing what was on the line, uh, top 25 opponent, need some wins to impress the committee here down the stretch. What does this do for you guys, hopeful-wise, of, of uh, kind of keeping the NCAA tournament in your grasp and, and as a possibility now? Uh, hopefully it puts us in good standings. Um, I want to play in March. I, got, I have to play in March. So um, whatever that takes, um, to do, we need to get that done. Um, nobody wants to say that they went to the division. They're not. They did not go to the match matters. Um, I need to play the postseason. I haven't played the postseason up to this to this point. Uh, I could have done it in COVID, or I can make it happen. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make it happen for not only me, but my team, uh, whatever way that may be. Thanks, Q. Thanks, Q. No problem. No problem.